Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash King. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you look at the description of the channel, Clash King, you'll get all the necessary data and details over each and went over this channel. So guys, on the request of one of my subscribers, I'm going to make a complete video guide for the infantry castles, guys. Yes, guys, this particular video can consist of some of the important march formation for the infantry troops that can be offensive and for the rally initiators, guys. Yes, guys, both things can be covered in this particular video. If you are an infantry castle, if you want to plunder out some of the big monstrous cavalry castle, please do watch the video till end because these formations can be very much informative and useful. As we all know that, let's talk about some of the introduction first so that you are able to know that in which conditions you should use infantry, guys. So let's begin the video without wasting any time. Let's start with the one that what are infantry troops and what are the ones that we are having on for the offensive and defensive purpose guys let's start with the one if we talk about the t14 of the infantry it is being known for the defensive nature so don't use it out for the offensive formation because if you are going to use it you can use it for the defense it can be really going to be useful for sure that comes the t13 of the infantry it is one of the monstrous infantry unit that is basically used for the offensive purpose and perform very well in the offensive battles guys then after that comes the t12 of the infantry one of the monsters defensive unit of the infantry that comes with the shield and really helpful for the defensive battle and apart from this guys this particular troop holds the maximum defensive potential for the infantry units then comes the t11 of the infantry it is one of the offensive as well as defensive troop for the infantry you can use it for the either side if you are having good enhancement and good stats for the infantry this can be a monstrous one and really used for the offensive purpose then comes out the t10 of the infantry the infantry is not very well used for the both the offensive and defensive purpose but people used to use it for the defense basically for me i did not suggest t10 of the infantry to be used in any of the formation because it doesn't work very well it only takes the damage for sure then comes the one and only the t9 of the infantry the t9 of the infantry holds out the maximum potential for the offensive purpose for the infantry unit so if you are an infantry monster if you are going to send out t9 of the infantry then it will work very well in the battlefield as compared to your t11 and t10 guys that is for sure you can write it on now comes out the next one that is about the formation let's start with the formation so that you are able to explain the things that this particular formation i have made with the help of one of the infantry monster in my kingdom he have helped me out so thanks for that particular guy and for all just l have a look over here let me tell you about the basic guys whenever it comes out infantry for the offensive purpose then keep in mind infantry troops cannot perform alone on the offensive purpose that should be clear for each and everyone you should at least need one of the strongest troops to support you out for the infantry one if you are going for the offensive one for the infantry if we talk about that some of the monster i have seen out they used to use the infantry plus cavalry formations means they are using infantry for the monsters offensive purpose but they are using some amount of the cavalry and siege also in the formation so that you are they are able to plunder out some of the important troops from the opponent's formation guys that is very much useful so if we talk about the formation let me first talk about the formation then let me talk about this particular thing briefly so this is the formation that you can use for both the offensive purpose for the infantry as well as you can use this particular same formation for the infantry host as a rally initiator guys keep that in mind let's start with the t14 of the siege you are going to use 13 370 then come the t14 of the archer 317 uh if we talk about let me uh, make it out for the percentage so that you are able to uh, see a better one for the t14 of the siege you can use 2.91 percent 0.07 percent or t14 of the archer t14 of the cavalry 1.95 percent 0.07 percent or knight cavalry t14 uh, dark then comes the t14 of the infantry 9.73 percent you need to use it for reduction of the damage for sure for the t13 of the siege for the attack and uh, defense is not being used enough. for the razor t13 of the siege 0.08 percent 3.88 percent of the t13 of the siege t13 of the cavalry 0.07 percent of razor 0.69 percent of the normal t13 of the cavalry then comes the t13 of the 
infantry tough armor 0.07 percent to t13 of the infantry razor 2.05 percent 32.77 percent of the t13 of the infantry it is going to play a very important role for the offensive purpose keep that in mind 0.07 percent of t12 of the siege armor 0.07 percent of t12 of the siege razor 0.21 percent of t12 of the siege t12 of the archer armor 0.07 percent 0.07 percent of the t12 of the archer normal then comes the t12 of the cavalry 0.14 percent 0.69 percent of the t12 of the infantry armor 0.69 percent of t12 infantry razor 5.85 percent of the t12 of the infantry for the t11 of the siege razor 1.39 percent 4.16 percent of t11 of the siege then comes 0.01 percent of the t11 of the archer razor then comes 0.01 percent of again t11 of the archer 0.07 percent of t11 of the cavalry razor 0.08 percent uh 0.0 0.28 percent of the t11 of the cavalry 0.11 percent of the infantry t11 armor 2.59 percent of the razor t11 infantry 15.57 percent of the t11 of the infantry after that comes 2.08 percent of the t9 of the siege and that's all guys so this is the formation that you should use on for the offensive purpose for the infantry one so if you are having this particular one if you are an infantry monster or you are having focused attributes on the infantry then this particular formation can help you out guys basically guys you the main theme of this particular formation is that this is basically made for monsters rally that is infantry based rally because there are a lot of the cavalry monster and they can be easily plundered using the infantry monster rallies guys so if each and every member is going to use the same formation of this particular one that has suggested in this particular video then that can rally can be really useful guys now let's talk about some of the monsters reports so that you are able to uh, see that what different monsters can be able on and uh, one more thing this is about the cavalry or you can see, use the complete all soldier unit formation that my friend has sent it on let's see this particular formation also i'm going not going to uh, read out loud guys you can scroll it out and check out the t14 of the infantry starts or 22614 1282492419 t14 of the cavalry one two two three four this is the solo formation that my friend is using on if he's having the cavalry plus siege based castle that i'm also using the same one so you can use this particular one for the solo hit it can be monsters if you are having the good enhancement for sure guys it is being needed on you can see over here guys so this is the formation that we are having over here guys small troops of the other one you don't need to use out for the solo purpose for the offensive purpose no troop layering is being needed on so these are the two formation that i must suggest on one is for the infantry another one is for different one now the thing is about the reports guys let me to uh, show you one of the report over here guys uh this is one of the report for the siege engine you can see the siege engine dominant report uh, you are able to see over here okay then comes this report that i'm saying your if you are a cavalry monster and if you are using out the formation that i've suggested on right now then this can be the result you can see over here the opponent is holding out with the infantry uh, defense guys you can see over here the uh, ru1 whatever castle name is is holding on 965 percent of hp some of the good decent attack for the infantry and if we talk about our end guys is it is having the health of 1500 percent of the cavalry 3000 plus and here is damage deal by coming 209 percent and like this you can see over here complete report over here and the result is very intense you can see it is being plundered easily on the solo basis guys so this is how it is working on this is how this whole thing is being working on the only suggestion if you want to follow my words guys keep that in mind if you are using infantry for the offensive purpose try to use at least one more troop as a support it can help you in the better result in the formations and all all those things the result of the battlefield will be better 
but if you're going to use only on the infantry one then it is not going to help you oh, very well guys so that's all today's video i hope that this particular video can be helpful for you in certain way and thanks for watching and keep going with gamers forum thank you guys